I'm a victim. I did not consent no, to anything. I wouldn't let you go out like that. We didn't say nothing wrong. I did not let's consent talk about to anything OJ. beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't saying nothing wrong. Right. Now let's discuss OJ. <laughs> let's talk OJ. That's I'm funny. sorry. Um, R.I.P. R.I.P. Man. I mean, I, I know that a lot of people have a lot of you know uh, opinions. Opinions. Yeah. Strong ones. Yeah, I mean, you know. If the glove don't fit, though, you must have quit. You must have quit. quit. And then also, I was watching a video of the verdict, uh huh. And black people were so happy, <laughs> like, oh, like, oh. and white people were so sad. So they were upset. acting like it was like it happened to them. It was the actual. Yeah. Dis- oh. It was like yeah, and, but we were partying, pulling the cars over, like yeah. All I want to know is what happened between then and then now. now. I think people got a little more realistic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's well, good night, Twitter. Like, <laughs> he was mesmerizing me with that. Yeah, hey, bro. Twitter world. It's yours truly. <laughs> OJ Simpson. I was like, hey, OJ's back. I think OJ <laughs> needed a reality show. He did. He did. OJ no, needed I thought a reality you, show. You said he did. I, I was just like, he did. <laughs> he did. I said needed, not in need of. Yeah, he's not in need of. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think he's good. I think he's... he's <laughs> he sailed on out. I won't say on top, but you know. He got out free. Yeah. He did get out free. Got- I know he... You know that was some bullshit when they hit him with that memorabilia shit. Oh yeah, that that oh. was just to get back. That was just to, that was like was, nigga, we got to get you for something. 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 We need to get our get back. Because how many years did he get for taking his shit back? <laughs> yeah, no, let's look. Let's look. And he didn't even shoot nobody. Uh, nobody got hurt. He just nobody. took his shit back. He was let's like, see. I just want my stuff. <laughs> <They're> literally. <laughs> What's that line in uh? <laughs> Somebody took my stuff. He took stuff. Wanted his stuff back. I All knew. he wanted was his stuff back, and it was like fifteen. <laughs> Hell no. OJ Simpson was released from prison in 2017 after serving about nine years of a 33 year sentence for a kidnapping and armed robbery in Las Vegas. They had it all on camera. Like, they literally shot it all. And it's OJ just running in there like, hey, it's him and his old-ass friend. <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> give, give us a shit back. And he's like, yeah. And then they're like, no, nah, you ain't going nowhere until you give me my shit back. He just wanted his shit back, bro. I'm sorry. When you said him and his old-ass friend, I just thought about <laughs> Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence in life. <laughs> Ray and Claude. Ray and Claude. <laughs> in, go, Claude. Get the shit, shit. now. <laughs> Don't hit. Wait, is this a gun line? Oh, gun line, gun boss. Line, boss. <laughs> gun line. Man, I was trying to cast him in a movie. Yes, you were. I had him. Yes. I had him. What was... Uh, you know, it's crazy. He played my grandfather in Suburgatory. Really? Yes. Bro. Um, I can't, I can't remember... I t- we discussed this earlier. Terrible yeah. with names. I, I got his, uh, his. He um. Come on, find it. This find man. it like you find those lyrics. Let me see. Let me see. Suburgatory. Here's the thing. Suburgatory is a faded memory for me. I watched it because I'm trying to support my people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember you having a family. <laughs> oh, so that came in when you probably stopped watching. That was around season three. So the way they started it, it started with a hello. Literally, they my line was hello, and then shout out to Emily uh, Kavnick. She was like, "We're gonna." She watched The Wire and stuff. So she was fan. She was like, "We're gonna bring Malik back. We have some fun stuff, bro." Okay. The second episode was like all about me, and then the third episode uh, was something else. Fourth episode, they brought me back. Like I ended up doing yeah. thirty three episodes, okay, in, in three seasons. But I was never. I was recurring. The whole time. 33 Yeah, episodes. you know. How many episodes a season? 22. 22. 33. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so I that's know. least. And they only gave us half. half on the third season, they only gave us half a season. 
So we really did, did they know that you guys were on the way out though? Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. And then you know it took our uh I couldn't even be mad. You know it took our spot? What? Blackish. So I was like, yeah. Was blackish right up? Yes. It feels like there was a longer yeah. gap, but no, no, yeah. No, it wasn't. Wow. Yeah. I just wanted to My say. My check stopped, theirs began. <laughs> That's <what it's> <laughs> like, uh, ah. Uh, so where's my money go? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. All right, let me see, see this actor. Brent Jennings. Brent. That's his name. We had Brent. We were I was trying. I was trying and instead we went with another gentleman, a guy from sweet guy. I love him. Uh That's from, Brent uh, Jennings. Gunline boss. The show you hate. What show? Uh Chefs Cooking. Oh, the bear. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Wait, have okay. you even watched it? <laughs> yeah, everyone he hasn't even seen the second season. Everyone says this. I've watched it. I have no problem uh, with the show. I think the acting is fantastic. I think it's a cool premise. But I don't allow. I don't appreciate how overhyped it is. And it and it doesn't remind me of any Chicago I remember. Kind of like Shameless. So like he, I don't oh, he took a shot at Shameless. Straight. Yeah, I don't I've never watched Shameless. I'm sorry. And where are you from, sir? Chicago. No, I know, but that, yeah, that's well, the point. Like, like, you guys like look. have like a slight disdain for like I know my friend from Atlanta, they're like, Oh, we hate Atlanta because it's not Atlanta. So you guys Yeah, are like, but no, oh, but it's, it's more good. of like we don't have representation a lot of times in these yeah. spaces and we are a huge part of the city. So it's like, yeah, you get the 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 hope uh or what's her name? The girl, I-O. yeah, I O, yeah, everybody's yeah. big fan of her. I get it. She's a great actress. Um, she lost you got the dude from, you got the dude from, no, no, that's what I said. You got yeah, the dude yeah. from Odd Future. I'm not mad at none of that, but niggas are acting like this is sliced bread. Niggas are acting like this is the wheel. This is not the wheel. Sliced bread was really not, good. I <laughs> see. I don't look at it from the Chicago premise. I just love the the acting in it. I love the realism in the storylines. I love a lot of the choices they make. But if you're asking me how I represent Chicago, I have nothing to give you. <laughs> <laughs> See, well, that, that's one you know reason. The... But I mean, I'm also just like, I'm very big on like when shit's hype based, and it's like it's cool. I get it, but like I am too. You're not telling me we had this discussion last time. You're not telling me this better than Succession. So stop mm, it. This is why y'all put it. This is why y'all put it in a comedy category because it can't hold its weight against shit that is in the drama category. Well, for that's awards. crazy. Well, no, it's not a comedy. I, you're you're no. wrong. Uh, but they do put it in the comedy category. Right? It's not a comedy. Yeah, no, they're it's a not comedic. A, yeah, it's, well, no, it it is. It, there it, are comedic it, moments. There you go. But overall, it is a drama, and you can have drama with comedy in it. But that is not a comedy based show. Not at all. I don't think. And no. that's why, but they, that's how they run and win the awards yeah. and do the things. I get, once again, good actors. I'm not mad any of them are getting their platform and able to do it. But when people sit here and it's like, you want to talk about great shows. Yeah. I'm like, this it's a cool show. It's well done. No, the second season is masterful. Uh, they have episodes where they shoot it like in one shot. It looks like it's shot in one shot. Yeah. I, I know you don't care. But no, I'm saying but that's like, like the that's acting, like some niche, some niche, like, oh, that's just some cool filmmaker. No, but shit. the that's acting cool. between the actors is fucking top <laughs> notch. It between is. Between the it, acting. That people. Christmas episode? Yeah, bro. It, that, I, that's I was sure it's so, so special. Yeah. Like, it's so special. Um, like, I, if. <laughs> Now, I'm sorry, but if Jamie Lee Curtis was going to get an award finally for something, this should have been for that Christmas episode. Goddamn. Not, mm, okay. not the hot dog fingers. Yes. What's, what well, was I, hot dog I, fingers? Like I said earlier, I, I love everything, everything everywhere. everywhere all at once. Oh, I no, I love the movie, that. but she ain't. Seen she Jamie Lee Curtis did. To, to, right. To be. She did nothing spectacular in that movie. Be like, oh, this is it, Jamie. Did uh, Old Girl win? The mother? I, I know uh, the father won. I don't remember. It might have been Gabrielle Union. Probably Gabrielle Union. It was, it was right. Gabrielle so Union. we were talking about this. <laughs> Gabrielle Union. Yeah. Weren't you guys discussing that she should have won an Oscar for something at some point? Yep. Yeah. That's exactly what I said. Mm-hmm. That and, is exactly what I said. Uh, we were naming the movies. I, I said I said Cradle to the Grave. Cradle to the Grave. I said Bring It On. Bring okay. It On. I, deliver listen, Us from Eva. I, Deli- I, deliver deliver Us from Eva. <laughs> I really, I, I'm when, saying it was a... It was a when she punched LL Cool J, like that's <laughs> riveting. Ten my things I hate God. about you, like she's she's 
that was the moment for me. No, I, she definitely deserves her I flowers. I kind of want to see. What was her... Uh... Are we pulling up her... Uh... Oh, oh, oh. No, it's... and y'all, before y'all go and try and cancel us, we are not trashing Gabrielle Union. No, no. And listen, you, you're you going to cancel me for talking no, about some no. movies? You guys tell yeah. us what movie she should have won an Oscar on. This yes. is this Bad is, Boys this is 2, right here. honestly. Bad boy! Oh my God! She that's the yeah, yeah. That's the that's the that's, that's the, the one. Right <laughs> Bro, no. Wait, I, what is the slave movie? <laughs> <laughs> I think wait. that was Birth of a Nation or Toy Story. Wait, was, when was Gabrielle Union a slave? <laughs> I've never. Wait, 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 wait. What? She's what? an actress. She's, she's been a slave she's... to this industry for years. Well, well okay. <laughs> I, we I, all I, haven't we all? <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. She was on Moesha? Yeah. Oh, she did. But here's the thing. How Gabrielle is one thing. of those. Seventh Heaven? She's the only yes. black person on Seventh Heaven? This is what she I'm telling a, you. She was on Star Trek? She low-key cut this reel together because she was like, niggas need to you know. Need to you know. need to know. You need because I know. never. She's all that. But that's what I'm saying. Gabrielle, she, she, she may a... not have done anything that, like, been in a project yet that right. put her up for the Oscar, but this girl has worked. Oh, no, no. But, like, sh- resume stacked. stacked. And so, this is a bigger part of the conversation of what Jelani ah, is talking ER. about. On ER. ER she, she, she just works. She Wait, hit all she's the friends. A, oh, she was friends. the only black girl on Friends. Oh, my God. Wait, has she done Law & Order yet? Two can play that game? Now, Love yeah. two can I, play can that I, game. You know what? Can I tell you something? This is turned into If a, that woman doesn't get with her NBA player husband, she could run the t- the uh, Taraji card. Cause yeah. I, now that now I know, but I'm saying now that I'm looking at this fucking slideshow of shit, no, yeah. she could be complaining. They don't pay me and they yeah, don't they, give me what. But she's the what only black person on Friends, bro. That's what I'm saying. Ah, deliverance from Eva. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> It's not goodbye. <laughs> it's hello in reverse. <laughs> Wait, I, this entourage. Oh no, think like a man, think right? Like a, Daddy's, Daddy's little, little girls. girls. Is this the one where Michael Ely hangs them out the window and drops? No, them? no, no, no. That's um, that's uh for colored girls. Oh, okay. I never seen either of them. Me and Mary J. Yeah, she was running. She had her own right? show for. Yeah, that was before BET. I think this girl, is uh, this Goodwin. is actually turned into a Gabrielle Union appreciation really post because I was ready to crack jokes. I have no jokes for this body of work. This is- <laughs> <laughs> Wait, whoa! Okay. Oh, the lion okay, guard. guard. Oh, yeah. nigga! I got really I did nervous. Too. I said, <laughs> <laughs> "What's this?" I got really nervous. She got voiceover in the back. She She's hair love. Love. She's oh, oh, Oscar. Winner! Winner! Yeah! So technically, she was right. Yes! Oh my god! Yeah, we really found it. Yes! An Oscar winner. Yes! Oscar winner. Wow! I just had a little stroke. Okay, y'all. So I, where's my camera? Right here. Yeah. Oh my god! I have to say this because I already know it's gonna happen. I just did a show recently, a game show, and one of the questions were asked. To name Oscar winners, so old girl that that got the I, I want to remember Ebony, they owe you some points. <laughs> Think this was your question? You said Gabrielle Union, hair love won an Oscar, so you should have got your point for that, and I should have shut my fat ass up because I said for what? So <laughs> for there we what? go. <laughs> That's Hella. wild, bro. But no, like her resume is crazy. Did not even realize all that. Yeah, the, no, no bullshit. And they, she just ended up getting, not getting, working hard and having a life that is like good, very, yeah. very good. But it's like if she wasn't, you know, like her, like that, she could, she would really be sitting there, probably running the Taraji P Henson card. But like, yeah. res- understandably, because that's a yeah. crazy body of work. So right? now, why do we feel? <laughs> now let's like, go to Taraji P. No, no, no. Yeah, yes. But <laughs> yeah. why do we feel like she's not who she just showed us she is? I think because also, like you said, some of the projects that I looked at when we were looking at earlier, she's all that. Ten things I had about you. I've never watched that. Right. I've never right. watched it. So though I didn't see her in um Seventh Heaven. I didn't see her in Friends. I didn't see her in ER. So all of those things were not present to me. But now looking at this, it's like, yeah. I can understand why somebody would think that. You Damn. deserve your work. And yeah. I'm 
Starting right at the top. Color you, purple for Taraji. You know what I'm just realizing? What? If things go well, somebody's definitely going to be doing the shit about me one day. Oh, yeah. No, because they're going to be like, they're not going to know none of this shit. Like the early shit that was like, oh, yeah, he was working in the bus. Like, What's that nigga done? All he, we know, because you know him for like the last, what, five, five years? Yeah, because when people see, it'd be so funny looking at TikTok comments. When I posted the video and I was over here, they was like, oh, there go Randy. What he been up to? And I'm like, a lot of stuff, actually. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and they was like, he only did the wire. I was like, what, what are you people talking about? Like, he was working way yeah, before that. Had his own show. He already had, the yeah. first Simba on uh, Broadway. Like, what are you talking about? Wait, people, were you the first one? No, no, not on Broadway. Uh, in Chicago. In Chicago. Yeah. Close but, enough. Close <laughs> enough. <laughs> but no, but it's crazy to like, man, that's some real shit. People don't go back. They don't. Because look, nigga, Sheesh. I'm still scrolling. Well, like, Alfonso Roberto. Ro- no Ro- Good Ro- Deed was where her shit Roberto? started. Roberto? Oh, no, Roberto? Ribeiro. Ribeiro. Alfonso Ribeiro, yeah. Yeah, I'm your Roberto? daddy. Roberto. Roberto. Alfonso Roberto. You remember, Alfonso Roberto. <laughs> you remember from Waterboy when his dad comes back? He was like, it's your dad. <laughs> Roberto. <laughs> no, uh, people always call him Carlton. And that man has worked. He worked way yeah. before all that. What was, was it? Chi- Silver Spoons? Uh, Silver Spoons. Silver Spoons. Yeah. And Michael Jackson videos. Yeah, Michael Jackson videos. He was doing Sam- Pepsi, Pepsi commercials. Ads. Yeah. Like he was, and he's Carlton. Yo. And he's done shit after that, too. He did In the House. In the House. Day, which was a great show. And a, he was directing sitcoms for a while. I think he still is. Yeah. When he's not doing uh, America's Funniest Song videos. Still Carlton. Still Carlton. I ran into him in New York at a audition for a play and i saw him and i walked i was a real little kid and i walked up to him and i said hey you're carlton and he said i'm not him anymore yeah and no he walked away <laughs> so angry. and i was a little boy i'll never forget this shit oh my god yeah when I, uh will smith jumped into the grand canyon i was working that shoot he jumped oh on like TikTok. Uh, yeah, on YouTube or whatever. He jumped into the Grand Canyon. Oh yeah. And I'm working that shoot. I'm driving people and stuff. <clears throat> and Alfonso Ribeiro gets there, and then the Smiths get there, and I'm just like geeked. I'm like, it's the, the oh, Smith the family, Henry. And they got out of the car and they were all arguing. And I was just like, they were all so arguing. And they went directly to the train trailer. And I saw Alfonso be mean to somebody, and it just crushed everything uh, in that yeah, one thing. Yeah. And like, also, like, okay, so Jada Pinkett directed one of my dad's first music videos. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Yes. Yeah, Jada Pinkett? It's called How Many Times? You can pull it up right now. What? She, she directed my uh, one of my dad's music videos. That's so crazy. I run up to the, Jada Pinkett, and I'm like, How you doing, Miss Pinkett? I'm Michael Vert, I'm Drill Vert's son. Uh, you did one of my dad's. Pleasure to meet you. She's like, oh yeah, hey, thank you. And I was like, all right, thank you. And then I run out, and I'm just like, damn, they're not. And then <laughs> they're not. not. And <laughs> then, and then the son, uh, J, uh, the the older son walked by, and I was like, how do you? He said, hey, great to see you. And I was like, I don't know you, but hey, good to see you. And then. Jaden walks by and they're like, hey, great to see you. I was like, oh my God, they have a script. Oh. oh. So it was like, hey, he he's I did this back in the day. So just like if you see No, it. no, 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 no. They just say that to people. Like, oh, it's just preset. That's their, that's their preset greetings. Well, I get that because preset you be for, is crazy. I won't lie though, you be forgetting people and like I Yeah. <laughs> But I never <laughs> met them for you to say hi. No, to but I did that. Sh- See, okay, it's better to do that than it is to. I recently did this. I ran into a motherfucker. I was on a lot. I ran into a motherfucker who knew me. I knew him. He changed his hair. I always forget his face. One of those things. See? And I'm like, hey, how you doing, man? Maestro, good to meet you. He goes, you know me. And I go, oh shit. And I'm still waiting for him mm-hmm. to say his name. Yeah. He- yep. He was waiting for you to say it. Yeah, no, that's a, oh, was good to see you again, bro. Have we met? I don't know, but you feel so familiar. That's way better. But yeah. you know what? I always move as if people forgot me. Like, I, I, I don't act like I you remember me, yeah. period. Like, it, like especially if we only met a couple times. Right. Like, okay. I do not expect you to remember me. And you're a Smith, and so I, it's way. okay. Yeah, like, right. like, 
<laughs> well, you're a Levert. I don't expect so, motherfuckers to remember right, me. Right, but that's also the perception and the difference that you have of you right. weren't thrust into the limelight and things like that or had well, this that, expectation that, of that. shit's that. different. Yeah. That shit, I, I was around, but that shit's different. Right. So you <laughs> were at, Smith fame. <laughs> the Smith fame is different. So it's like, even like Trey ain't out there like that for real, but you still, if you see that nigga, oh, you still gonna be like, oh, that's. Wait, did you Trey say Smith. Dre? Trey. Trey. Oh, Trey. I just Trey. said Dre. Remember that example I gave? Which one? Remember we made the uh, the Dre, the Stevie Wonder example? Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Was he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was pretty funny. <laughs> we were making uh, examples of like the, <laughs> the like, I'll be sure. Diddy type thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going back there. No, no, we're no. Back. We're, we're no, forging no, no. ahead. No, we're forging ahead. We're going elsewhere. We're moving ahead. <laughs> no, that's because it it really does ruin your perception when you see people in a certain light and you have this expectation. Yeah, yeah. but also it's like it it is my ex. Like when I met I, my all right. So my dad did. Yeah. Uh, my dad did. Uh, the Chris Rock show. Uh, with LSG. And Jada Pinkett was there promoting Scream 2. Okay. Mm. He took me, he, uh, we were there, I met Jada, and while we were walking out, Will Smith was there. My dad has always known Will Smith was my favorite actor, person, everything in the world. That's yeah. my idol. You're who you are, Dad. Will Smith, that nigga. <laughs> like, I love Nick Cannon. Like, exactly. <laughs> and I know he hated that shit. I know. So he saw Will Smith, he was like, oh man, all right, that, come on. And when it took me to introduce me, I shook Will Smith's hand. I'm like, I get in the car and I'm like, and my dad's like, you all right, nigga? And I'm like, I'm never washing this hand again. I'm just being extra because I met Will, Will Smith. Smith. Yeah. I, you're my favorite rapper slash actor slash right. everything. Like, yeah. you're my guy. You're you my Michael so much. Jackson. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I um, met him. So I, you always, and it's like, I always bought his albums. I love that guy. Yeah. And then you just, it's just a little, you're just like, he, oh. was, he wasn't all that friendly. He was just like, huh? And I mean, I didn't even talk to Bill because I was let down every other place. I was like, I refuse to allow my perception of Will be destroyed by Will. So I'm not even going to say shit to Will. Right. That's fair. I got, I have a good Will Smith story. He, he was nice. I When, when I did Ali, yeah. he, let, he let me come on, the, come in the trailer. He was playing. I remember this because he had. Weren't like, you little Ali? Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. He had little flat. He had flat screen TVs. Right when I was doing Ali. <laughs> <laughs> when you played the younger version you of played. Young yes. Cassius Clay, to be exact. Yeah. Okay, uh, but they, they, they had uh, the the uh, the flat screen TVs. But mind you, this is two, nineteen. This two thousand. This is like two thousand that we're shooting this. Yeah. So it's like. He got flat screen TVs in his trailer that's two floors. Yeah, no, there's two floors. There was a whole playpen for Jaden, who was a child, like a real child. They like, did a cribs um, on that on that trailer? platform trailer. Yeah, no, it's it, it's insane, bro. And then that nigga was playing what? Tiger Woods Golf 2001 on PlayStation 2. <laughs> and I remember sitting there looking like, nigga, that's not out. <laughs> like, the, the oh, privilege. yeah. And then, then we took the pictures. Jada was in there because, mm. uh, you know, she's in the movie as well course uh and then he was like yeah my dad was there he talked to my dad took a picture with me and then i he was like you guys want anything to eat we we're like no he was like someone put 25 turkey burgers on the grill it was just like right you just got a guy to okay we'll see you later and i was like wow wow his life has been the same since until that slot yeah but yeah. what if will smith <laughs> what if will smith decided to be an asshole to the baby version of you <laughs> what if he was like well, get the fuck out little if he would have done that I would have been okay because I had met Ali prior to this too. Mm. And so I, yeah, like I have like picks with, it was kind of cool. I heard The Rock telling a story on, on Joe Rogan's podcast actually. And he was saying like, it's real cool. He has like a picture with The Rock at a young, or with uh, D uh, Dwayne Johnson has a picture with Muhammad Ali at a very young age. Mm. And then when he got older, him and Ali were able to connect or whatever. But it was just cool because I don't know a lot of people who have that. And I have like pictures of like Ali holding me and like kissing me and like doing like, yeah, actually being like it's like really cool. And so, it's yeah. special. You're one yeah. of the chosen. <laughs> you are. The cho <laughs> but <laughs> shout out to Floyd, man. Floyd had a plan. <laughs> Floyd had a plan. Your dad had a plan. But what I will say is that he, 
you were always still just a kid when we were like dance mm-hmm. class and stuff. It was like we knew Maestro just left. We would see him on Saturdays for rehearsal, and then when he leaves, he's going to do some cool shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll come back and we're like, "Hey, Maestro, how's your week?" Oh, I went and I did the Jay Leno show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or oh yeah, you know NBC's giving my own show. It's like oh okay, that's good. <laughs> It was like, all right, five, six, seven, eight. He still got falling formations just like everybody else. <laughs> that, that, that's that's so, it's so funny though because I, as I got older, I realized I didn't have. That's the shit I would talk about because that's the shit I was doing. Yeah, and then like you get a certain age and you start to realize like, oh no, like you can't talk about certain shit because certain yeah. people take that the wrong way. Like I remember one time it was like this kid. He was always like an asshole in school. His name was Jonathan. It's always an asshole. You always remember the kids that were assholes. Always. Always. And Jonathan Dorsey. Was a dick. <laughs> Dorsey. Yeah. Dorsey. He, Dorsey. Yeah. He was he wasn't he was always very mean and tried to bully me. So we like fought every year. But I remember we were cool, I guess, when we were yeah. We were cool when we were younger. And I remember one time I shared some pretzels with him. And I shared these pretzels with him. And he was like, Ugh, you you know, this is making my stomach uh, and he starts like like just being a dickhead about it. And I was just like, what? I got them from the Jay Leno show. They were in the basket. And then, like, we ended up fighting after that or something. But my point being, it's like, because I'm not, like, I don't, that's what I did. Right. That's where I got these. They were in a basket from Jay Leno. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't realize this. I'm seven. I don't realize that's a flex. This is, because I, I understand. Yo, <laughs> yeah. No, like, I remember, so... You remember my cousin Wanda that danced this uh-huh, one? Yeah. So her mom was on like a lot of boards in Chicago. So that's even outside of class, we run into each other at events and mm-hmm. stuff. And you know, so I wasn't as active as my show. I wasn't on Broadway and shit. I wasn't at Jay Leno. <laughs> but if it was just local stuff going on in Chicago, you know, we would be there. Like right. they need the fresh air fun kids to be in a picture with Ludacris for a check. That's us. <laughs> like, <laughs> like that's a literal story. It's like, hey, we need some kids for this picture with Ludacris. He's giving us a fifty thousand dollar check. And we run we go back there, it was like, oh, there's my show on this day. Hey, hey, we all <laughs> take this picture with Ludacris. But then like I remember going to school and talking about it, and they're like, You're a liar. Bring the picture in, like get into a whole argument right. on the uh playground and niggas trying to jump me. It was like that's what I did this weekend. I don't know what you yeah, want. Me to yeah. say. You real. know? Yeah, n- niggas be feeling some kind of way, man. They really do, and it's weird because, well, I mean, as an adult, you get it. Yeah. But as a yeah. kid, it's like the innocence is there of like, I'm really just, you asked me what I did this weekend. I'm excited to share this. I didn't yeah. realize until college to really like stop telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Like, because, like, before that, I would just be, like, sharing. I share, share, yeah. just tell you about my, what's going yeah. on, what happened. Cool shit happened. Like, and I'm telling you about it. But, like, after when I got to college, like, people will want to fight me in school, like, in, like, high school and everything, but, you know. But when I got to college, this one girl, I was just telling her a story that just had happened. And she was like, why you do that? I said, oh. Why do what? And, and she, <laughs> she was like, "Why you brag like that?" And I was like, "You made me brag. Right. I'm literally telling you what happened last week. It was cool as fuck, but it happened." Right. And he was like, "Nah, it just comes off braggy." And then from that moment, I was like, "All right, yeah." Because it's other people. It's the problem is it's other people's insecurities, and it's their whole thing is this: you're talking about some shit. And it's that normal for you. But then we yeah. all know those people mm-hmm. who shit ain't really that normal for them. Right. But they want to name drop and do that. And that's another, that's a forced version. You see what I mean? Like there's the people who want to be, oh yeah, you know, I was out uh, last week, me and uh, Drake, you might have heard of him. Right. Yeah, we were doing this, uh, <laughs> like, what the fuck? No, that's not, no. But other people are really like, nigga, I hang out with Drake. Yeah. That's what I do every day. Yeah. Chubbs is like, nigga, me and Drake was, Hold on. Is this one out? It's on like the, the clock. And we are back. Do you prefer to eat before the gym or after the gym? <laughs> For me to answer that, I will have to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> when I was going to the gym after, though. After? I, yeah. 
I hated feeling like I was working off whatever I just it, ate. That me too. It made me feel like I had to push myself more to work off what I ate, and I didn't feel like that was healthy. But what isn't it healthier to work out on on fuel? I mean, I would do something That's what light, I and then like a I would do like a protein shake or something like that. But like an actual meal, no, nah. because I would go in the mornings too. I wouldn't go after work. Yeah. When I was, so. when I was in, yeah, I was waking up eating breakfast, like eating a small breakfast and shit. Yeah. But then I'd eat a lot after that. Yeah. Stay yeah. on that mic, buddy. Gotta stay, gotta stay on that mic. All right, Diddy. Yeah. What? I don't know. The way you sound. Stay on the mic. Stay on the mic? Yeah, well, because it's I'm just. on the mic? No, How yeah, much more? Because you like I, turned your head. Yeah. When like you, you were that, talking like that you when you turned to me. It's, a it's not microphone. picking up. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, even if I'm turning to you, I'm still like. Facing on the mic. Man. He likes, but see, even when he's on that thing, he loves to. Yeah, man. It's a, oh no, that yeah. shit be moving. Bro. And, yeah, and then, and then, and then, then, then he'll, <laughs> hit you, he'll hit you with this shit. Yeah, man, because it's like I don't get it. But it, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Man, he I, needs a handheld. Really tip me off, but I didn't. You know, so. it was like, Nigga, <laughs> compress yourself. <laughs> move in. Move, move in. <laughs> We need tighter edits, <laughs> tighter cuts. No, nah, it's it's fine. It's fine. Oh it's just God. you know, it's just a little extra work I yeah. gotta do. No big deal. I mean, he he's getting the cap cut. He's eventually. getting the cap cut. Shout out to Levica, and I'm getting the the YouTube premium. He's get see everybody is contributing here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All hands on progress. There progress. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't there going there. there. there, there, there. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about there was something. <laughs> Nigga said, "Cause I heard a noise again. I said, is this camera? Yeah. Oh, camera? Oh, you heard a noise? Yeah, it's like, didn't it? Really? Yeah. Which one? Is it good? This one. Is it good? No, it's still going. Okay. You look great. Why is it making noise? <laughs> this camera gotta, on me? No, that cam- That's just odd. That camera is doing the, weird shit. Gabrielle Union and that girl from college heard this. They are on our ass. Yeah, they probably. are attacking these cameras. What was y'all well, talking they about? Heard. We're praising them. We, she just, she's doing great." What were we talking? What were y'all talking about earlier when I was setting up? There was something hilarious. It was, uh, oh yeah, it was the superhero sh- shit. Oh yeah, the superhero shit. Yes, X Men ninety seven. So what is this you're talking about? So they film things on a green screen and people don't know what the scene is. Yes, what the fuck is this? Oh, for Marvel. Yeah, so for, for Marvel, they'll cut stuff out of the script. Like, let's say you were playing Spider Man. They're only giving you all of the Spider-Man scenes. Mm-hmm. You don't have the outside context. And even in scenes that you're in, they might only give certain parts of the dialogue. And so just on your footage, that's what you're recording, and you don't know what's being responded back, so they don't have spoilers leak. That's how careful they are with Marvel. That's a lot. That's excessive. But the amount of spoilers that like come out already, as secretive yeah. as they are. I noticed, bro, I noticed that when we did Fear the Walking Dead, that was the only thing I've ever worked on that actually was like that. And they had that like synchronize app. It's yeah. called Synchronize. And so basically yeah. you only get parts of the script and nobody has like, like they, it was a bitch getting like sides. Like Damn. they weren't. Yeah. And then we later saw pictures of like us just walking like to set and stuff. And they're like just taking pictures of like our wardrobe. So I can only imagine for Marvel. Wow. Like, yeah, I guess you really got to be careful. People take that shit seriously. Yeah. Jesus. That's like um that's insane though. Tiana Paris just talked about in uh the Marvels, uh Beast makes a cameo. The yeah. from X Men. She had no uh, clue. She right, he doesn't know who Beast is. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For, I'm like, I said to him, like, I was like, this nigga don't watch X Men. Great. <laughs> but uh she said that when she filmed it, did you see that? It was just like a guy in a regular lab coat yeah. saying the same lines. Mm-hmm. She was like, There was nobody there I dressed as Beast. And the girl and her mother, I think, was there was she there? Too, or was she not? Oh, I don't know about that one. The, her mother from the other universe is playing her in that parallel universe. It was her and Beast. Oh, yeah. Didn't even peep that. Shit. Yeah, so they yeah. both weren't in there. So do they. Speaking of Tiana Pierce. Um, no, go for it. Speaking of Tiana Pierce, I did a movie with her. Oh, which um, one? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure I got cut out. I never watched the movie. It's called uh, The Mickey Howard Story. It's on TV One. She played Mickey Howard. Oh, really? And she played my Aunt Mickey. And I okay. they auditioned. And I auditioned for my dad. And it ended up going to Eddie Winslow. 
Uh, <laughs> wait, yeah. wait. Uh, I played my dad's tour manager, AB. <laughs> no, you didn't. That's I, wild. They I, said, hey, <laughs> you're not good enough to play your father, but you can play his assistant. It was actually insane because I'm the perfect person to play my father. Of course. Right. Like, it's like, I don't even, bruh. That is they got Eddie Winslow. Bro, but you know what? I low-key blame myself for that shit, bro. Because when I was walking around school, when I first got to Morehouse, I was telling motherfuckers my name is Eddie Winslow. And it was like, and it's like I, it would be like a scale, like, are you dumb or are you cool? Because like, I'd be like, I'm Eddie Winslow. And they'd be like, shut up. I'd be like, I like you. I like you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, I'd be like, Eddie Winslow, they're like, oh, Eddie. I'd be like, yeah, no, nah, I'm like. You're not going to get you, my humor. Yeah, exactly. Right. You're not going to You're not gonna get me. Well, I was doing that through college, and then boom, this nigga's my dad. <laughs> That's insane. So you're Eddie Winslow Jr. Oh my god, no! God. That's that's crazy. So yeah, yeah, but I do have a scene in that movie uh, where she overdoses on drugs. And I'm like, no, Mickey, wake up! Wake up, Mickey! Get up, don't you do this, girl! And shit. You're and doing then, all that? I never saw the movie. I, I cannot watch What's myself. What's it called? The Mickey Howard story. We, oh, that's we a, need to find this. Yes. So you don't like watching yourself? I do not watch myself. I do not like watching myself. I will because I am my big own biggest critic, yeah. but I don't like watching myself. The most myself. excruciating pain I've ever felt. I wouldn't say that. It's I just, terrible. I critique myself very hard. I've gotten better at going back and just being like, oh, okay, this is a memory. Yeah. Good times, but. My metaphors are too deep. Like, I go too far. Like, like, like last week. You know what I'm saying? Like, I said it's the worst pain I've ever felt. Oh, right, I've right, I've broken right, right. my wrist before. But it's, it's still it. the same. <laughs> oh it's God. not that bad. Wait, no. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. What about you? Can you? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I love to watch myself. No, he I got to do. I got to do. I enjoy watching myself, though, because... It's a it's a memory. Yeah. Like it's a it's a it's a beautiful reminder of what I'm capable of. Mm, see. I think that's beautiful because it's kind of And I see what's wrong. Like I also can like critique yeah. like what's wrong, but I know I can make those things better. Better. Yeah. And that's, that's how I, I had to it. stop looking at it. like look, stop worrying about what you did here. You you know, correct it for the next thing. Yeah. Instead of being like, Oh my god, my career's over. Yeah, this is horrible. No. It was like, nah, they would have they would have directed you how they wanted you to. They would have did this. like. And sometimes you'll do something and you're like, a lot of times I have this too, where I'll, I'll do something I think is so bad so I won't watch it. Mm -hmm. And then when I go watch it, I'm like, nigga, that was, th like, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't the best thing you ever did, but like, that was good. It was still good, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you just, you need to be away from it for a little bit, see it and be like, oh, yeah. So like, oh, so if you think this is the bottom of what you've done, the bottom is still pretty high, my yeah. friend, so... Do you have anything you've done where you're just like, oh my God, never again? Uh, my ER wasn't all that strong. It was a very okay. stupid episode, but it wasn't all that strong. I can imagine. Uh, ER just. I'm gonna ask you a serious question. I've never asked you before. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's unserious, but go ahead. How you feel about John Henry? <laughs> were you you were in that, no? <laughs> Wait, what is John Henry? <laughs> no, just everybody always brings up super flying shit. <laughs> okay, John Henry is a movie with uh, Terry Crews and Ludacris that I'm in. Oh wait, is that the based off of like the uh, the folk tale? It's no. supposed to be, but I don't know what. I remember seeing advertisements for it, but I don't remember. It went it number later. one on Netflix during the pandemic. Did it? Okay, that it's makes like sense. Being the, Smartest, never. I'm not gonna say it. It hit. It hit when it needed to hit. It, yeah, you loved it. No, well, I, I'm not. You had a fun time. I'm not it. ashamed of anything I've done. I did in it. I think like you watch my. I have like one scene where I'm really going at it with uh my homie uh Rich, and that scene's good. I haven't seen the movie. So I'm I not really saying have it. no dog in it. I'm, I'm now really gonna. Like, I'm I now really have to go wanted, watch it. I'm literally only going off. Oh, my friends in this, and I saw the posters and some trailers, and I'm like, hey, how do you feel about this? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> not my finest work, to say the least. Well, I like what I did in it. The movie, you like itself, what you did. Yeah, in the, it, movie the movie itself, itself yeah. it loses its way. I mean, we've all had those moments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's work, you know, it's it's work. Yeah. yeah. And and it's it's cool when things can do what they are for example, I'm look at it and I'm like, damn, it's cool that I did that because A, I can say I've been in a movie with Terry Crews and Ludacris. A. Yeah. And B, it did numbers because of when they put it out on Netflix. So it's like yeah. people saw it and it made it like, hey, what Randy been up to? Randy's yeah. doing he's on your TV. He is. Might not and, be in the greatest capacity, but he's it's not a bad capacity. It's not in any way, shape, or form a bad capacity. Yeah. It's just no. John Henry on Netflix and Ludacris has a metal gold jaw. I don't know what the choice was there. I, I, I bro. I don't know either. I didn't watch the movie. I just saw. It. That's what it was—a choice. <laughs> <laughs> choice. Sometimes we just have to acknowledge things for what they are. A choice. A choice. Okay, so on Superfly, a chair is still a chair. I was director X's <laughs> assistant. And well, you were whose assistant? Director X's assistant. Okay. So, we there was a point where they were trying out different hairstyles, right? And they came in with the the hair that they went with. Oh. And I was, and they were like, I don't maybe, and I was like, that shit hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> but you were just trying to be funny. No, my where I was coming from was it's mm-hmm. distinctive. It's like it's like very distinctive. Don't nobody have that hair. So At it's all. like if you're with you're him, he's him. Right. Everybody know that nigga. Like that's the nigga hair. That's the nigga. I was like, it's just like a lion's mane. And as he said, <laughs> it's a choice. It's, it's, it's a choice. It's a choice. It, that for sure was a choice. Yeah. Not to say it all went down to me. They're like, we listen to La Mica. But <laughs> we like, listen to La Mica. They were like, well, he's black. <laughs> He'd understand the he most. <laughs> yeah, see? But this is why this is why I'm EP in this podcast that I'm doing. Because like stuff like that happens and they'll look at you in the room and be like, Well, what do you think? Right. Am I getting paid for my thoughts? Don't ask me. I'm here to act. Mm-hmm. You know, and this is stuff that y'all should have thought about before I got here. Hundred percent. You yeah. know, these are things that should have been discussed and understood before a black person walked on set, and you are trying to tell a black story. And if you did not have a black reference point, you shouldn't be telling the story. We were talking about that uh, <laughs> last week when we were doing our wrap up. Just the fact of <clears throat> there's not people in these rooms to even tell them. We were like, and that's how you become H&M and you put fucking Black Kid and Coolest Monkey in the Jungle t-shirt. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, because there's, how does it go through these, these channels? channels? Yeah, like somebody saw it before it got to the website. Mm-hmm. On that movie, Joel Silver was the producer. But it seemed like like X was trying to be the quality control. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He was trying to let's rework this script. There was a guy named Alex C who wrote the script. Alex. He wrote uh the Wu Tang show. Mm. Okay. So okay. he, you know, he did the script and he's trying to make certain cultural changes and everything. And Joel was like, No, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I never seen a tyrant like that before in my life like that man like the biggest producer of all time like yeah. he's the guy it's like i've he was he held cut before and i was like oh what oh wow that, oh. Like, we were all like yeah everybody was like because <laughs> we've all been on saying so we like oh <laughs> that's uh because even even when you're on a set and you see i remember I don't remember what project I was on, but I remember when it clicked to me where I would see the writer or the creator Mm. have like some note and then they'd go talk to somebody and then that person would go talk to the director Director. and then the director would go give that or they would go give that same note to the actor. And it's like, right, because everybody got to have their... The yeah. elbow room. You, so you're not stepping on any toes. toes but yeah. you just send it through the proper channel. Yeah. And I've seen it where it's... So I'm not going to say the name of the show. Because it's <laughs> still trying to make sure I get paid from this. But there was a scene in this show mm-hmm. that made no sense at all. <laughs> Absolutely no damn sense. And so it was one of those things where like everybody know. Everybody has read it. And we're sitting here in our chairs... 
getting ready to film this scene. Right. And we all kind of looking at each other, and I'm like, you know black people, we talk without talking. We kind of <laughs> looked and was like... And so somebody finally said something, was like, so does anybody else think this scene don't make no sense? And we were like, yes, oh my God. <laughs> and so I only had up to that episode, because I think that's when my character left. And so I was like, well, do they... They had the other two. They had the last two of the season. I said... Well, does this issue come back up again? Like, how do you guys deal with it? How do they discuss it? They were like, they don't. And so, to give some context, it's about <laughs> a father making his son take heroin <laughs> as a form of punishment. And I was like, well, does he go through withdrawals? Like, is he fiending for it now? Does he get ad- addicted to it? And they're like, it never comes up again. I was like, that what? <laughs> that makes no sense. So, so can you and, run through the scene with me, like, really quickly, like... The father, like, hey. We're in jail. Okay. And so some people are going to put the pieces to this together. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> My character and another character come in and hold the guy down. And another character comes in and puts the needle in his arm. And his dad's like, it's okay, son. Just let it happen. It's all a part of the process. Take it. And we're like, like, what does this have to do with anything at all in the show, like it doesn't add any context to move this story forward. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to what the narrative is of what we're trying to tell here. And so the two main actors, because I wouldn't get paid enough to say nothing. Yeah, right. I right. said if you if he wants you to get the heroin, get it immediately. I'm, you know, I'm I'm playing my place. Right, right, right. But the two leads are like, nah. They go talk to the showrunner. We end up sitting there for about an hour. They bring us some heralds. Mild saucers on point. Hour later, they come back. We have new sides. The scene is now completely different. Sound good. But it was like, that's when I learned, like, yo, you got to speak up for real. Like, I've spoken mm-hmm. up on set before about issues with, like, a white man trying to cut my hair with comb, a comb and scissors. <laughs> Absolutely not, sir. <laughs> they was trying to do that. Yes, bro. They were? Yeah. No, no, no. But it's just funny because it's just like in, in this day and age. This was in... It wasn't that far back though. It was 2017. I'm sorry. I, I can see that. Shit though. still happened yeah. today. But yeah. that's what's crazy even now. But it's just yeah. You know, I mean, it's 2017, and it was my first. It was my first, uh, like coming in as an adult. My first SAG thing. Like nah, I'd done some stuff when I was younger, but my mom wasn't a set mom. She was a teacher. She worked two jobs. So me trying to get into entertainment and stuff, it wasn't as prominent. She didn't have as much leeway and the knowledge mm, yeah. and also my mom is a strong introvert so i even told her i remember as a kid I was like talk to my shows dad ask him what to do so <laughs> right, i'm trying to get the ball rolling and she's like no i don't want to bother so, but i do appreciate it because i think i, I at, at my age and doing the things I, I get in that life i would not have handled it well i know i wouldn't have but <laughs> he said i know i wouldn't <laughs> i know i wouldn't have for sure what, what, what guy would you have been what like what, what do you think you would have been on Oh, I I would have been uh the Smith kids arguing oh, the cards with dogs. No, I I think for me it was just that I was so hungry for it mm. that I know I wouldn't have handled it well. I got you. And so I think mm. me having to be humble and learning the game the way that I did, um, just coming up doing the local theater circuit and all right. that stuff and the Chitlin circuit as we call it, mm-hmm. it humbled me and it gave me a an appreciation for the things when I did book you know, my first SAG job as yeah. an adult and having to go through all this shit on my own as opposed to, you know, not taking anything away from people that like the nepotism and all that, they don't appreciate it as much when you have that grind and I've seen the contrast. Yeah. Everyone's not as humble of it, but, you know, you are rare for somebody who was in this industry as a child and still has this hustle and doesn't be like, well, everything should just be handed to me. Or why am I not getting this opportunity? Or why, right. you know, why I sh- I shouldn't have to compete anymore? You yeah. know, I sh- I I'm not doing a podcast because you know I'm me. That's I've seen it. I've talked to people way. about yeah. it. And they, yeah, you know, people be like, you know, I, I should have this. And I was like, see, I I go why? through that for like, <laughs> I go through that for like a few days. Well, yeah. Every every so often I go through that. I'm like, this yeah. is fucking crazy. Like, you know, I've done X, Y, Z, I should have been, but it's always yeah. myself. And then I go, well, fuck. Well, you know what? I'm going to do this. So then that way I don't fucking need them. 
And See? then that that's always my thought. It's just like, yeah. okay, so oh 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 you you want to block that door? Fuck you. I'm going to open my own. I I bought a hammer. I'm going to fucking hammer through this wall. Well, exactly. Aha. Because the thing is, <laughs> even if they're not giving you the opportunities, the opportunities that you had before, you still have those people on your side. You yeah, still yeah, have yeah. that notoriety. How do you now flip it and the the traction that you don't want to give me? Those people are still going to follow me over here. Exactly. I keep it all for myself. So the opportunity that you could have platformed me for, yeah, I got to work a little harder. Yeah, I got to build a little bit more. But guess what? Now it's all mine. And you can't take that shit away. It, ever. <laughs> ever. Yeah, that's, that stays with you. You know what I mean? You know, so as yeah. the mindset that I try and put some of my friends in that, like, have been in this game for a long time and like, well, I should. It's like. You should, but it ain't. But it ain't, and we and so you, we ain't the powers that be to figure it out. So what are we doing now to make this happen? Hundred percent. Okay, right. you got all the ingredients, but you too lazy to bake. <laughs> yeah, <Hell> yeah, <laughs> nigga. You know how many times I be laying on the couch and I be like, I could make a sandwich. <laughs> but Postmates, oh Postmates, oh Postmates. Did you have anything to chime in, Lamika? You look like you were gonna say something. Oh no, that was it was a while ago. I was Oh my bad. No no please. <laughs> please. I'm I'm impeding on your time, sir. Like no. literally Is that still recording? Yes. Okay, just making no, sure you know. That's literally true. I please, by all means, like don't say that shit. Um, <laughs> you see how he gets rude? Right. Don't. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Literally shut, shut the fuck shut, up. Shut up. <laughs> um, but... Don't say that. <laughs> no, not like that. Um when I was working on the show Preacher, it was a little while back, but oh. I, um, cause I, I actually, uh, uh, going back on what you guys were saying, I actually talk too much. Like, even when I don't have like a good position, yeah. like I'll still open my fucking mouth and it's a problem. So it's like when I was on a Preacher, it was one of my first shows. I'm a, a PA on it. Mm -hmm. And, um, I just, I've been working on it for a while. I start to know the directors and the producers and everything. One day they have a scene where Jesus is having sex with, with Mary Magdalene and the apostles are outside the door and they're knocking on the door to find Jesus out here. And it's all, they casted all white people. Mm. And I was like, uh, y'all don't have no people. Of I, and I walked up to the my AD. I was like, y'all don't have no people of color. And they're like, you know, you're doing Jesus and the apostles. It takes place. And yeah. You, like, you what are you doing? You don't have anybody of color? Everybody <laughs> just white? That's crazy. Right. And then I, they were like, yeah, yeah, we're not doing anything about it. So then I went up to the producer Whoa. that I knew. and Well, first I went to Ruth Niga, and she was the lead actress in it, and she was like, she was like, yeah, this is fucked up. Yeah, and she like gassed <laughs> me up a little bit. And I was like, yeah, I'm, yeah, this is fucked up. And then uh, I went to a producer, and I was like, hey, man, y'all don't got no black people in the Jesus scene with the apostles. That's crazy. You know black people love their Jesus. Come on, Maddie. And then he, he was like, you're right. And he walked away for a second. And then he came back with a robe and made me throw the robe on. And he was like, you're an apostle now. And I was like, that wasn't necessarily my intent that behind doing right. I wanted to get a black man a job. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted another black, black man, man who was not here yet to get the job. To get a job. job. Well, here's the thing. They didn't have time to get another black man. They were like, <laughs> you're finally. here. Hey, two for one. You're right. talking out. Are uh, you in SAG? I got in so much trouble. My second and my AD. Oh, I know oh my God. They pulled me out. My boy's the one that got me on the show. He was, I was like, bro, I didn't do nothing wrong. He was like, well, they're not happy with you. And I was like, what? And then like, was the one of the girls pulled me aside. Why did you do that? Don't do that. Like, I was like, oh, they about to fire my ass. I'm well, a BA. Because they feel, I mean, they don't. What? It's funny that you would have a problem with this if no one else had a problem with it, but I guess it's the change. Well, of that hand. that was that was my thinking. Like I'm like, yeah. none of y'all should have a problem with it because there's a producer. This is me just shooting shit. You know I shoot shit. Yeah. The producer said I was right. It happened. Like they were like, no, you went around us. I wasn't like we back to the shit we was just talking right. about, and that's why the writer goes and talks to the creator, and the creator goes whispers right. something to the director, and then the director comes out. Hey guys, how about we try this? Nigga, you ain't just thinking that, but yeah. it's the chain of command. command. But see, and it's the chain of command, but it's like, me, I just talk to everybody. Right. There's no, with me, there ain't no chain of command. I talk to people. But do you know, I think yeah. the chain of command, though, has been set up. It's kind of like uh, how they used to tell you, uh, don't talk about money. 
Never talk about finances. Yeah. But it's a setup because it's like, I'm paying him more than you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't want to get And if we up. all just fucking communicated, everybody could be getting Every, paid oh. fairly and accordingly. If yes. everybody just fucking talked. Right. And that's when they oh, be like, oh, oh you're bragging. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm bragging. I'm just telling you what's happening <laughs> in my life. And maybe we can compare and contrast and get more money. No. No. We don't like that. How dare you? But How that's dare the, you? That But is. that's the thing. Like, yeah. that pay gap is crazy <laughs> because... Now that you think about it, it's like all those things are conditioned and we don't look at whatever that bigger picture is until mm -hmm. it's like, oh, somebody finally said something and then you put the piece together like, oh, shit. Oh, so we all been getting yep. duped. Except, and if you, if you except for the person that's getting talk. paid the most. Yeah, exactly. Like, and they sitting over there, wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm supposed. Should I tell him? Nah. Right. That's what Will Smith did on the Fresh Prince when the black Aunt Viv went away. Because he was like, Will, we could all come together and we can get good contracts. And he said, uh, my contracts, my contracts. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> right. That my contracts I'm big great. Willie from Philly, nigga. I, I don't, it's I don't want any. called the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. <laughs> I don't want no parts of anything they going to offer y'all niggas. I'm just going to be real with you. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is my show. Mine. Mine. Figure your shit out. And Viv. You yeah, know what? That, that was, bro. Get another one to make her light. It's going to be a brighter day. Brighter day. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's what he was doing. That's exactly his <laughs> mentality. He was like, I mean, the metrics say, you know what I mean? I mean it do better. It do better if people uh, <laughs> like it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just saying, nah. That's what the out of everything wild. that I've said about Will Smith, that would make him angrier. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm playing. Nah, it's cool. I'm a good. little boy, little cash. Right. Right. Oh, he it's beat me. your ass like cash is too. Oh, my. <laughs> they won't make jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, okay. So you thought it was funny. <laughs> you okay. thought it was funny. Okay. Nah, I, I don't really know about all that. <laughs> I, I love how he has a shtick. He's going to murder you. He's a Scientologist, bro. <laughs> He's a Scientologist. I'm crazy. not on their radar yet. This is the beauty of these years. <laughs> yeah. I'm on no one's radar. Oh, when they find out, I'm here. <laughs> But right. but what's that? Will Smith when they go this back clip? And... Yeah, see that's the what happens is life starts moving. I do something else. Three years from now, I'm in a meeting to do right. something, and I'm like, shit's great, man. I've been a big fan of, and someone sends him that clip in the meeting, right? Mm -hmm. And he just, huh, huh. <laughs> that's funny. That's huh? funny, huh? <laughs> and now you sitting at the boardroom table, and he walks in, you're like. Oh shit, he got no, the man, look, listen. I, yeah. I always wanted to work with Overbrook. I'm just being can I be transparent? Can I be yeah. transparent? Yeah. I love Jada. I think you have a beautiful family. I don't think none of that shit your kids do is weird. None none at all. Willow's normal. They're She's artists. a great artist. Jaden. Bad Boys 3 was. The highest grossing movie of 2020. All you have to say is Bad Boys 3 was the highest grossing movie of 2020. <laughs> Thank you. Thank no you. one knows that fact. <laughs> well, it's called Bad Boys for Life. Yes. They, did they make the wrong turn? <laughs> yes. I mean, <laughs> were they short-sighted? Yes. For sure. Maybe they were unsure if there was going to be a four, so they was like, let's just use it just, just in, in case. case. No, you know what I think happened? I think what happened was Will said, ha-ha! I done got this movie. Nigga, I'm going to play Will and Serena, uh, Venus and Serena, Daddy. I'm putting all this bad boy shit behind me. I ain't got to do them kind of movies no more, nigga. I'm the fresh prince. And then Bad Boys 3 came out before. Yo, I know. That's prince. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what he's he saying. cutting he that shit off. I don't need this shit. I'm doing Oscar movies now. So it's Bad Boys I don't life. need this shit. <laughs> I am so good, nigga. Oh, you know we going to the Oscars tonight. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I like the haircut, baby. We going to the Oscars. Going to the Oscars. He said, G.I. Jane. <laughs> keep my wife's name. And that was when he decided we need another Bad Boys. I love that. I Actually, think we might need another bad boys because I don't know what I could go shoot can, otherwise. Can I say something to you? I actually said, like, maybe 15, 20 minutes after he slapped him, <laughs> I said, 
We're doing more bad boys. <laughs> I swear to God, on everything I love. That night, I was like, we're getting more bad boys, baby. It's coming, because he has to do action has now. There's, there's no more. I mean, we could have got another Wild Wild West. We could have got Hitch 2. We could have yeah, got yeah, Hitch 2. I feel like, okay, Hitch 2 possible, but he has to do something where he's likable. possible. He has to do something where he's likable, and he can stand next to like somebody who nobody has a problem with. Yeah. And that's the beauty of he bad boys. He needs to do a Quentin Tarantino movie. Change his whole persona. Yeah, but even, yeah. but even then, I feel like you'd run into situations where there's going to be people on that set who feel a kind of way about Will Smith. and uh, Bad boys. Well, I'll bad slap boys. you. And, he own, and also, well, I'll he, slap he owns you. that. Like, that's yeah. his. Is it? That, well, it's an Overbrook production. Yeah. I okay. believe now it is, yeah. Well, it's probably the first in his contract. Two. We have to produce the movie, like regardless what company. Because who was that through Sony? Like, who, yeah, who, Sony. That's through yeah. Sony. So yeah, yeah, like yeah. If you want me, you you ha- we have to produce the. the yeah, exactly. Movie. We, you have to give that's us. That's what I time. do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like the Rock. The Rock be <laughs> exactly. doing that shit with uh, what, what's this shit called? Uh, uh, uh seven dollars. Maverick. Oh, seven oh. buck. Seven, seven bucks. bucks. Yeah, because I always think about he had he bought a car for seven bucks. Whatever. What's the story? He only has seven dollars in his pocket he when he came car. back. He, he didn't yeah. buy. He bought a car. I, I yeah, thought he, only he had seven at a young bucks age. When he came back. No, I think. Look it up. He got the computer. <laughs> he got the computer. <laughs> so what do y'all think about the Rock's um, catalog? Catalog work. What What do you guys think? Because as I'm going over it and looking back, it's kind of funny in the light. But um, it's. What do you think? It's um, Walking it's, Tall and the Rundown were my favorite. But these are WWF yeah. movies. Yeah. Were the Rundown and Walking yeah, Tall? Yeah, I think Walking they Tall were. was. Yeah. Yeah. They were. That, that was the movies to set them up. And they set them up. Just like they did John Cena. Yeah. Damn. They're uh, genius. They're, the name Seven Buck Productions <laughs> referenced the amount of cash <laughs> Johnson you. had in his pocket after he was released from the Canadian Football League in 1995 yeah. and before he signed with the World Wrestling Federation, WWF, not WWE. Mm. He ain't buying no running car. No, $7. he did. He told a story on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast. He had yeah. he bought a car for like. For some reason, maybe it was, it was more super. Than it was yeah, super it was cheap. super cheap. Be lying too, bro. I'm not even gonna front. You don't see this nigga's face. <laughs> oh, you th- you call him Dwayne James? Ye- yes. <laughs> Dwayne James is crazy. <laughs> Dwayne James. No, that nigga be lying, bro. But like his show on ABC, The Young Rock, great yeah. show. Yeah, you were saying that. It's a okay. Great show. It's way funnier than it should be. I have not watched it. Um. <laughs> I was about to say something because you brought the audition, but it was I don't know if I could talk about it yet yeah. of what it that audition was for, but what, what, it was it was in relation to the Young Rock, the one uh, where I like did the thing in New York. Where oh, I was like, yeah. gosh, you, gosh, you, gosh, you. Okay, yeah. yeah. So he was like trying to figure it out. You like, ah. yeah, I don't want to say that, but yeah. it did make me want to kind of go watch it because it's if it's going because they referenced the Young Rock in the script. Gotcha. And the way that they're doing it, I was like, oh, this is going to be hilarious. This is gold, which is why I went mm. so hard to make the audition happen. And then didn't get it. But welcome to life. <laughs> but I know that that is life. Yeah. But that's not, you see, that's cool though. I, I That is cool when you see something or you get called for something and you're like, man, this makes me want to watch the show because what I'm reading, I fuck with. Yeah. That's cool. You actors are also strong willed individuals because. You get told no a lot, a lot, a lot, yeah. like way, like I'm way more often than you get told yes. Yeah, and you get right back on that horse and you do that shit, and yeah. that shit is a lot of most, not a lot, most people couldn't deal with that type of rejection oh, no. on that level. But I, I, I was most people when I first got into this because it's like everyone thinks they are deserving of it. Everybody has the yeah. same dream. Everybody thinks everything is for them. But then when I started realizing. Most of this is out of our hands. Yeah. Like, we could go in for an audition, and I can get told no, not because I wasn't the most talented in the room, but it was like, ah, the female lead is really short, so we need somebody for camera-wise mm-hmm. that's going to be close to our height. See, or yeah. the guy we already casted to play your dad is light-skinned, so mm-hmm. you're too what Whatever, you know, and it could be like, you the coldest in the room, you definitely fit, but this happened. Mm-hmm. And it's like, we, most of the time, we don't hear that shit. But when I started looking at it from that, I was like, I threw it. I was like, I did my best. 
I killed it. I felt good about it. It's in y'all hands. Rip them sides up and get out the room. Listen, I go back through self tapes all the time. And be like, what was this? Bro. I don't remember. I was like, I did some good work on this tape, but I don't even know what this was for. I you, quit. You, you just quit. <laughs> Listen, I, it's I've learned I've learned it early enough because obviously I was getting old so early. But it's yeah. like it just makes me realize. It makes me realize that like you said so much of it's out of my control and i'm not really focused on i need to i need to figure out ways where i can be the person who's deciding who's a part of my stuff mm. opposed to because yeah. it's just i it, you can only get told no so many times before you're like okay right well i know i do good stuff so right. Either you're not writing the stuff for me, or I need to find another angle at this. Exactly. Yeah. Um. And but and I think the only issue with that though, and the way I look at it now at this point, I will say getting so many no's in life is kind of fucked up. The way I look at, it's easier for me to displace my issues, because I go like I'm so used to being like, look, man, this shit ain't got, it's just out of my hands. So yeah. fuck it. That's not my problem. Like, yeah. I did this. I think I did a great job. That's that. But there's other things in life that, that I've noticed because I've been this way my entire life. Yeah. It'll trickle down where it's like, well, you know what? Fuck it. Listen, this is how I do things in the work. So, but you shouldn't really be that, be that way. way. Yeah. For everything outside of this. Yes. You can't. But that, and this is one of the things I always say. I feel like every actor needs a therapist. Bro, I was literally about to lean in and say therapy. Yeah. I, that's literally legit. Yeah. they black. <laughs> I have a black man that is my therapist for one thing. For one thing. <laughs> because I I I'm talking to you about issues that some of this you're not gonna understand because my therapist is not entertaining, but the at the core of it not an entertainer. Right? Yeah, but at the core of it, he's a black man. So when I talk about the disparaging things that happen to me as a black person, or like how I feel from a black perspective, he can relate and give me the tools to move forward because he has insight. As opposed to, you know, I went through maybe three or four people before I landed on him. And the rest of them, I was like, you can't tell me how to fix issues that you can't relate to. Yeah. You can give me basic surface tools and it's like, okay, that's cool. But when we get down to the core and the nitty gritty of it, once we get down to what that is, how do I as a black man move forward on this versus a white woman trying to tell me, well, this is what worked for me. Well, good for you, Susie. (laughs) Yeah, we we got two different perspectives. (laughs) Exactly. Bro, you are literally saying everything that's in my head because, like, I had, like, three or four therapists. One of them was a white woman. And it's like, they give you a kind of, like, coddling that you're like, I get why these some of these kids are shooting up school. Like, it's like, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's weird. But my male uh, therapist, black male therapist, correct. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. like, yeah. And he gave me some proper tools, but I, yeah, that's like I just saw a uh, <laughs> Lily. We was at Universal Studios the other day. Uh, it's me, Brian Hearn. I think you know Brian. He was in Hardball. He was on all that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Headman kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Headman. <laughs> that's my one of my best friends named Giovanni Samuels. We leaving Universal Studios. We on the tr- uh, like the little tram that takes you back to your hotel. It's little white girl is losing it. Screaming at her mom, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I wanted that toy so bad. I wanted it. Just like going off. And her mom's like, stop. She's like, no. She was like, the bus driver says stop. And she's she looks at her mom and goes, no, he didn't. Punches her mom in the face. Hell no. And then does it several more times. And the parents are just like, we're so sorry, guys. And we're like... Beat her. Beat her ass. <laughs> she she would have ceased to exist Beat in her. my house. She was like four or five. Exactly. And that's why I say a black parent would have never. But my mom always says the reason she she always said, I'd rather whoop your ass before the cops do. Oh, I'd rather yes, be just yes, one of them. Yeah, because like let's just be real. <laughs> if you get it in your head, even at four or five years old, yeah. that you can act like that when you're when authority tells you, you no. Know. So then you turn 12, 14, 15. This is how you move. Oh, that's why I said Lucy is going to beat her ass when mm-hmm. she gets older. Yeah. Like, for real, for real, it's going to be a very tumultuous relationship if you don't handle this shit now. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. 
is like, no, nah, you got to get that. But the fact that she tried to use another authority figure was like the That's bus driver said stop. And it Who's was like, that nigga? and the bus driver is looking over like, now why am I in here? Yeah. The right. bus driver says, that, who's this nigga? She don't know him. She know you. She know you, but right? I, the bus driver don't give a damn about this. I noticed that with uh, people with dogs, too. I kind of feel like- Oh, my God. People, don't worry. He people, don't bite. When people get dogs- <laughs> do shit. You, you said what? I hate when people just have dogs and just let them do, do shit. shit. It makes right. no sense. Like, 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 your dog's on me. Tell your dog to get off of me. Thank you. And it's like, you haven't trained or you put no work in to make sure that your dog listens. And I can see that. Yeah. Which lets me know that, hey, hey, no, no, hey. No. It's like, you're not training. You're just talking to it and coddling it. And like, yeah. no, that's not what we're doing here. Because it's the same thing. I want my kid, if I ever had a kid or even my animal, if they're going to run out in the street for a ball and I say, hey, no. Or stop. Yeah. You want them to fucking freeze. Because if they don't, little Timmy, gone. Gone. And that's what I'm saying. Like, that shit's not. Yeah, because yeah. it's bigger than just her throwing a tantrum. It's that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then that also makes you wonder, what is going on in the household that makes this kid just think fighting all the time? Are yeah. they watching a lot of Marvel movies? That could be a possibility. Now I'm just I'm giving all scenarios. They could just be watching. They could be into anime, you know, or they could be watching The Wire. There you go. Yeah. Well, they, no, they have guns. <laughs> they have guns. There's not much. They didn't, nobody shot know. Randy. They just beat his ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Touche. Yeah, yeah. See, that, that was good. That was exactly. lost on me. That, 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 that was yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. That was really good. See, I wasn't doing any of the punching, so I'm putting myself in her shoes. Oh, you were. Yeah, because you're the victim. Yes, I'm the. Victim. I'm the parent in this situation. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They're watching too much uh, Doctor Phil. <laughs> exactly. You know he has no his way. own news network now? Or he's getting what? his own network? Who? Dr. Phil? Yeah, right. That's going to be a hot mess. No, well, no, no, no. He's going, like, back to, like, trying to or trying Safety. to be a, a journalist. Okay. Like, a real journalist and, like, What's put up have? the facts, see where it lands with people. But he's getting his own network. Like, it's Was not he ever just... a journalist? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't just, know. I just know what that is, Maybe I should have said friend. go back. Like, right. What is his degree in? Oprah friend. Oprah gave him his PhD. <laughs> Just like Gail. Yeah, Oprah yeah, uh, you get a PhD. You get a PhD. Oprah, you get a PhD. Oprah, Oprah, Oprah close friend. Oh, Oprah love. Oprah, we don't. I mean, okay. They, they, they tucked that very bop. well. Then they do them lot. Or is Stedman just really uh, Stedman? You know. So it's called this Doctor Phil's Mary Street Media. Uh, but no, but Stedman is just he, <laughs> he, he's in the <laughs> he's in the mix. You know what okay. I mean? He's in he's doing things there's me morning on Mar so he got his morning show he got his news he got his Ooh, everything's so diverse yeah, he knows who he's selling to yeah. housewives and moms who are just sitting in the living room who are now grandmothers <laughs> don't his teeth look small for his mouth oh he got them God. good veneers he said he probably said you made him look it's too the, big yeah it's the fact that he has the same aesthetic as Steve Harvey though. Ah, uh, bring Steve in with the suit, the mustache, that oh, smile. I see yeah. what you're saying, but he a real doctor. Yeah, Phil hit you with more comedy. Yeah. <laughs> did you Did you see Judge Harvey? Do you remember that? I did. He did. I did he was see a Judge. judge. He was a judge. This nigga's not. He has <laughs> no real legal <laughs> anything at all. <laughs> so was Miss Pat. Judge. But they told her they was like, you don't have to be an actual judge. It's TV. You know, you just. He's like what? <laughs> what talking about? And this nigga wears a black suit. Bro, that's the funniest. His the mouth. He don't even wear a. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. He Dr. <laughs> Phil, bro. <laughs> you crazy. Steve Harvey. Stop the play. you. It's black Dr. Phil, because you could definitely put Dr. Phil on family. He team. is the black exactly. Dr. Phil. Yes. Wow. Holy shit. The revelation. That's, that's pretty crazy. That man has so many jobs. It's insane. Him it's and, actually him and Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah, Snoop Dogg has done everything. He should be worth like how much money? He should be worth like a half a billion by now. Who, Steve Harvey? Yeah, for sure. I think he is. Yeah, you know this nigga has bacon. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I said this nigga has bacon. What? <laughs> 
This might be Pan the best show we've ever had, bro. Pan fries in two minutes. Less mess and time. Harvey Foods. Easy. Real roasted bacon. <laughs> now, now y'all Hard come over here. Smoke. Get this bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make some piggy for piggy. <laughs> what makes you think <laughs> like a man? <laughs> like, yeah, see, $2.99. This shit is in stores <laughs> <laughs> and a grocery store near you. That a doesn't feel minute. good. Like, I don't know. Go buy that black man's bacon pause. Go buy. <laughs> right, wait, Harvey. Go buy that black Harvey man's Ventures. Bacon. There we raisin. go. Harvey Ventures. Let's see all the shit he got. Acorns. Acorns is the national leading finance. Wait, is this? Yeah, wow. yeah that's like financial a financial wellness app. system. Yeah. Yeah. Helping more than 8 million customers save and invest every day from one easy setup app. Easy to use app. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Moon. Moon Ultra. Moon Ultra is an ultra portable lighting accessory design. Oh, yeah. Brother, oh, I've seen this. I've seen this. Giovanni has one. It's like super small. Small, but it's like on the back of the phone. Yeah. Okay. Brother Bakes. Brother <laughs> Brother Bakes. Brother Bakes is an online bakery that sells delicious cakes in a jar. In early 2019, trucker driver Mark Lennon was inspired by a, mes- a message he heard from Steve Harvey. That message started him on a journey to find his true passion. That passion was baking. In November of 2019, he started Brother Bakes and now ships cakes all over the country. Block all right, cap. We don't have to go. No, I just wanted. Like to, well, okay, I'm not gonna read them all like that. Block, <laughs> block cap. I, I really was. Ex- a, a want mining- to know about Brother Banks? <laughs> it's it's Brother Banks. It's okay, yeah, okay, block okay. cap. The block cap mining division. Okay, so it's a Bitcoin thing. Coinbase. Wait, what? This nigga don't own Lyft. Coin- not Nas, no. This stuff he has money in. Nas, Nas owns a piece of Coinbase too. I know yeah. he he uh, got the the rings too, or he so he was part of the ring sale. Give me like mm. ring, million. yeah, ring, ring yeah. yeah. Airbnb, Lyft, Airbnb, Bloomberg. Energy. See, when you got money, they SpaceX. This nigga, yo, Steve it's Harvey. really wish for me. <laughs> yeah, he's like actually, <laughs> yo, Steve, you got to answer for these uh, twenty three me. He's the feds. He's the fucking feds, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's right, that's right. Yeah. over twenty three me. They planted the CIA planted him into the black community, and then now he's promoting <laughs> us giving our DNA to the government so they can put your uncle in jail. I'm not gonna lie to you. You you. Because <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> Well, this nigga's connected to a one too many Fortune 500 companies yeah. to not be a fed. But wait a minute, was that the same performance you gave in the TV One movie? <laughs> no, it was, it was, it was I don't know. It might have been worse. He wouldn't know. He's, never, was, seen he's never seen it. I don't know if it was good or bad. Pull it up. Like, <laughs> not like this. I don't. Well, it's no way to. Is there an ad for Steve the movie? Harvey's a fucking. Feds, bro. I like how you switch back to Steve Harvey. Right. No, no, no. We, can, I we mean, like find the trailer. He's like, but you, Steve Harvey. You don't remember. You won't I don't know. Leave how. it alone. <laughs> I, it's just, it's incredible that he's done so much. Inspiration. Steve Harvey. Man, he has his own yeah. network too. Yeah. Oh, forgot it. Steve Harvey. Oh. Oprah got it. Steve Harvey got it. Oh my Oprah God. got a billion. What? Man, oh, they hit you right with this subscription no, right away. They make you subscribe. Dang. Motivated with Steve Harvey. Multi interactive, interactive conversations of victory. Oh, this is why we be seeing all them fucking clips of him talking yeah. to Family Feud crowd saying something. If you just sit in first class, and he be you, doubling and you see the content. How them this is Patreon, my nigga. That is hilarious. He's genius. Giveaways. Early access. Get healthy with Dr. B. That's his Dr. Phil. Elevate Book Club. Many as... Bro, you know those mega preachers? He's that. that. He's, 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 he's that. Right. He's Joel Osteen. He's Joel Osteen. Except he don't got a church. Look pa- at this. Look what he's selling you. Pass the, the rise to Man, listen. <laughs> The playbook out here. When we so, when we figure it out, the playbook so here. He needs Listen to turn this to a religion so he can be tax free, and I think that's possible if he just turned it into a Christianity thing. A lot. Steve Harvey would be paying taxes, but I don't know five hundred one three C. No, I know, but I don't know if he can <laughs> if he can find a. Black people will in religion, and that's his market. You got to. That's his market. I so know. he could just. Right, but he would have to 
mask it with actual <laughs> service and then it'd be like you're doing the same thing you're speaking inspirationally but you're like I'm now past the Steve Harvey that's all you same do. exact all he gonna do is repurpose well, he was them a judge. Service. You don't got right. <laughs> Pastor Harvey. Oh, I hope. Yeah, it right. sound good. Pastor sound, Harvey. You all you gotta do you on the black community, all you gotta do is say, I, I was called to the to the people. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I followed my calling. Bro, right. he was called and now he got tax free. Exactly. So he make a hundred million dollars, two hundred million. Steve Harvey makes way over hundred million. Yeah, Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey makes two hundred and fifty million dollars. He gets to keep the whole two hundred fifty million. He don't got to give a hundred million to the uh, government. That can pass to Harvey. Maybe then Lori can come home. That's not his daughter. <laughs> I'm not <about to> saying <laughs> legally well, binding. No. That's not his daughter. Legally, it is his daughter. Legally, did uh, he adopt her? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Until those papers are signed. I mean, you can use the last name all you want. But. 200 million. They say his net worth is he got way more now. He got way yeah. That nigga's invested in SpaceX. Don't yeah, lie to me. Got, way more. Don't lie to me. So come on, man. You you ever want, look at the uh, net worth? Oh, they said like, 2024. Oh, but yeah, no. Yeah, it's 2024. Yet. Do you ever look at the net worth and be like, this can't be right? Yeah. All the time? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever looked up your net worth? No. Oh, yeah, they be it. saying like $2 million. Oh. <laughs> Such a lie. They said my right. He has way more. Two million dollars. <laughs> way more. <laughs> Pete, this nigga, you want to talk about networks? Byron Allen. Yeah. He owns a whole bunch of channels. Yeah. That I, uh, most I've never heard of. But he's family? a multi billionaire. You said, is that his white family? Yes. Correct. Oh no, and that's Katy Perry. So maybe uh, not Katie, all. Wait, no, it might have been Katy Perry in the middle of his white interracial family. <laughs> yeah. Interracial, yeah. Look at that Afro young boy right there. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's definitely his child. Yeah. They look at their heads. They all look like him. <laughs> they do, Loki. Yes. That's crazy. Byron Allen. Wait, did he do a show called Mister Box? He Office? owned the Weather Channel, nigga. Right. He, he did a show. <laughs> okay, so he did a show called Mister Box Office. Yeah, he did. I I think I uh, I did I I think they wanted me to audition for that. <laughs> Be thankful you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm see. gonna leave it there. I'm gonna let you talk to some. <laughs> it was that so, bad. It, there, there's some whole like behind the scenes stories of that. That's yeah, it's bad. Well, do you know? Because you know who he is, right? Byron yeah. Allen is it. But just listen to this story. It's just Byron Allen is an American businessman, film and television producer, and comedian. He is the founder of the U.S. media group Entertainment Studios, which is also very like, okay, Entertainment Studios. Right, gotcha. that's very big. Which has interest in television production, broadcasting, film, and digital media. Born in Detroit and later moving to Los Angeles, he initially pursued a career in stand-up comedy. After appearances on The Tonight Show, see, he got the pretzels too. Allen began the experience in television <laughs> work, including becoming a host for NBC's Real People. Children. See right there. Okay, I want to see what this. L let's see where's his uh yeah, three. net worth. Yeah, three. That was the three. That was the, that was them. Yeah, the biracial oh. bunch. Just so, look at that. I want to show you of... what channels he Can owns. I say that. What? Oh no, no, that... you can't say that anymore. That's why they. That's made... why she changed. Mulatto that... changed her name because of that name. Yeah. I'm so sorry to the whole mulatto. Mm. I'm so sorry to. Uh. Oh my god. Uh. uh... Larry David did it once. Find it. I just remember. Find it. I'm so sorry to the biracial community uh, about dead name. Whatever I just did. I'm sorry. This nigga has the network group. <laughs> Jail. <laughs> Jail. Immediately. Allen Media Group. So he has networks. I'm trying to figure out what his cars.tv, comedy.tv Es dot so he has like all these shows. Oh, he can ruin you. Oh no, but but it's weird because they're all under. You said he can ruin you. No, because I just called it. I, okay. Yeah, it's all right. Is he's, it? Yeah, it's fine. Are you sure? Uh he's not watching this. Oh, I see what you're saying. Listen, man. Yeah. <laughs> I. I I respect what you're doing, Did black they, man. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. I just it's not a bad word. Is it a bad word? Is it well, they I, it's like certain things. I think it was another one of those words that was hijacked, kind of yeah. like woke. Let's use this as a lesson. Oh, uh, I'm <laughs> you, so tired of hearing woke. Yeah, but see, that's the problem. Oh, see, he said it's a. It pisses me off. 
they, they me real bad. They co-opted the word woke because all it meant was stay aware, be aware, keep, yeah. Your, yeah. keep your eyes open. Look now, around. Just, just that's it. Now it means nigga. <laughs> Right. And now it means urban. These urban communities doing this urban shit. shit. Right. And and when they say it, when when pe- white people say it, I really hear the ER. Like, yeah. Like I I remember that woke-er. video. Yeah. You woke her. <laughs> the video that was floating around when they did the uh the Halle Bailey did the mermaid. He was like, Disney released a trailer for the new woke little mermaid. And I was like, what you call her? He said it's a dog whistle for the word nigga. Yeah, it is. That's very much what it was. I was like, <laughs> what is woke about the movie? Like, What is woke about? What is aware? Right. I don't see Ariel swimming up to a protest. <laughs> <laughs> Ariel's at a Black Lives Matter Matters, rally right. in the fucking ocean. We're doing a that wouldn't happen because we can't swim. Right, but they don't. But I, and and what did I say to you? I said they only use woke when I it's... can swim though. My dad's. A G. I can swim. I can. <laughs> we, we can all swim here. Right. He had a pool in his backyard growing up. I had a lake oh. in my backyard growing oh, up. Oh. Excuse me. See, the- maybe this is, you shouldn't do this, LaMica. Right. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't talk about having a lake because we didn't have lakes. Well, my dad died and then everything changed and I went middle class and then I had to play. <laughs> I, well, I, I don't, no class. longer have a driver. His name was Maurice. He was a beautiful man. You he should play him in the movie. Uh, Maurice? <laughs> <laughs> <That's a joke. laughs> Because you clearly can't pay your dad, but maybe you can play Maurice. But you can play Maurice. (laughs) When they do the movie, you can play Maurice. (laughs) We're we're bringing them back around for the last lap. I feel attacked. (sighs) This is funny. We're still recording. You don't feel. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Is this camera on me? (laughs) Just making sure. (laughs) Let me see. Matter of fact, let me check time. I do got to dip in like five minutes. But yeah. But uh, you know, maybe the real thing is gonna be if one of us ends up playing your dad. That's gonna be the horrible part. Hey man, all right, you guys just have, you these, imagine? these are borderline <laughs> dad jokes, and I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> it, it, it'd be like, well, poorly cast, but great metrics. Right. <laughs> oh, but he looks just like him. Well, Lamichael, why don't you why don't you hang out with Maestro? You know, show him like show him what it, what he was like. like what, uh, <laughs> Look at the videos we act just alike. Right. <laughs> I can show you a comparison. This nigga, it's me. I don't even gotta go that far. Who casted this? <laughs> that's, that's who you should have your quarrel that's, with. The same person who casted Flex Alexander is Michael Jackson. Yes. Woo! There you go. There we go. What were we saying earlier? Uh, do we want to go into the Bill Bellamy or Flex Alexander? Oh, Bill Bellamy. All Bill day. Bellamy. Yeah. And that's nothing against flex, you know, flat out, cool, yeah. But I just uh, feel like 101 should have been Bill Bellamy's show. Yeah. yeah. I can agree with that. They couldn't afford him? Well, yeah, he's coming off of movies. He's coming off of Any Given Sunday. Any Given Sunday. Sunday. And he's leading, well, he's not leading. He's not leading, that's Jamie Foxx. But he's leading How to Be a Player. He, that's his movie. That's his movie. And yeah. I love how to, and that influence, bro. I've had so many niggas walk into this place and tell me they're like, "Bruh, this shit cold." Cause I always wanted to get like a loft some shit, like how to be a player. Ash be saying that he's like, "Man, I got this loft because I saw how to be a player." And I was like, and I'm just like, "Damn!" Like yeah. that was the movie. Like, yeah, influence. How to be a player was my first bootleg. That was the first bootleg film I had. That is hilarious. Like it was. Wait, just, that's a good one. Y'all still buying bootlegs? You had a lake in the back of your house. Why were you buying bootlegs? Oh, because yeah. you get it early. Because we, we get it early. Ah, and it's, and on top of that, who is, you're not going to buy movies, but movies will find you. Yeah, my dad, True. I remember my dad had Pootie Tang, and we was all trying to watch Pootie Tang, and he ran upstairs. He's like, I got the bootleg of Pootie Tang. Ran all the way upstairs, came back to the steps. Oh, you hear <laughs> Sounds like my neighbors. <laughs> Nigga came back with three pieces, like, well, we can't watch Pootie Tang. But it was a bootleg. Oh, he broke Pootie Tang. Oh no, he broke yeah, So we didn't get to experience Pootie Tang together. There were two. He took me to two movies though that I'll always remember: Castaway and 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 uh oh, Castaway, <laughs> <laughs> Gal- Gal- Galaxy Quest. Gal- oh, those are two. That's movies. a throwback. Bro, <laughs> hold on, Galaxy Quest. <laughs> I, nigga, I need to Google it too because I'm like, I remember well, this. Yeah, bring it up on the screen. Sigourney Weaver, Tim Allen. Yes. Yes. Oh man. Come on. So come like the on. two movies we went to see in the theater are special to me. Byron Allen and fucked up my uh Yeah, see, I told you that motherfucker was this one. <laughs> hey, man. You know he got the funds to do this. Oh he yeah, he got all the funds. 
There we go. Like yes! Oh, Remember the dude man. who talked like... Yes! Yep. Memory unlocked, bro. Wow. And not even just that. What's his name is in it? Uh, yes. Sam Rockwell. Uh, was, Before he was Sam Rockwell, he was the red shirt that always was scared of dying because he wasn't really on the show. Who's Sam but Rockwell? He was just a, who Sam Rockwell? Oh, oh, uh, Big Bang Theory. No, no, wait, huh? Alan Rickman Sam is Sam Rockwell. Oh, he was. Yeah, oh, but it was before Sam Rockwell was, is yeah. the nigga. Yeah, no, bro. The fact that Professor Snape, aka fucking Alan Rickman, Alan Rickman, is the one of the, that's crazy. the best death scene yeah. in in cinema in um in uh lethal weapon, not lethal weapon. Fuck, Die Hard. Die Hard. Remember, he, he just falls and he just shows. And... Yeah. Damn. R.I.P. Bro. Galaxy Go. R.I.P. R.I.P. Alan Rickman. R.I.P. O.J. Yeah. Uh, any you, closing words? Any anything you want to say? Gio, thank you for joining yeah. us. This oh, was, no, thank you for you having brought, me. <laughs> you brought. We ha- we must do this Can again. You again. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I had Anytime. I, I needed him to say it first. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> right, because the chain of command. Chain of command. <laughs> See? Yeah. Full circle. Full circle. <laughs> that's that's my part. My oh, last word. <laughs> Follow the chain of command. That's all we're gonna tell you. Hey, and we man. out. Peace. Yeah. The fake ass exit.